Chairman's instructions are for me to get you up there as promptly as possible. The questions are to take no longer than 15 minutes. You're going to receive the questions in advance. And I'm to thank you for the courtesy of attending this hearing. Mercy. What a grueling line of inquiry. Must have a familiar ring, the questions in advance. Would you excuse us for a moment, please? You take this, please. Thank you. Young man. The ratings went up if the same contestant came back week after week. There was only one way for that to happen. You had to know that. Young man, I sell over $14 million a year worth of Geritol. Geritol, that's the kind of businessman I am. That show 21 cost me $3.5 million year in, year out. Sales went up 50% when Van Doren was on. 50%. So the very idea that I was unaware of every detail or aspect of that show's operation, well, frankly, it's, it's very insulting. So you know. That's even more insulting. You had to know. That's what you this just said. This is not about what I know. It's about what you know. You don't know what I know. You know that Dan Enright ran a quicker quiz show. Well, he never informed you. Did he? Let's see what he says. Dan? Look, Dan Enright wants a future in television, okay? Which have to understand is that the public has a very short memory. But corporations, they never forget. He's not that stupid. He knows he's through. No, no he'll be back. NBC's gonna go on. Geritol's gonna go on. Makes me wonder what you hope to accomplish with all this. Don't worry, I'm just getting started. But even the quiz shows will be back. Why fix them? Think about it, Roy. You could do exactly the same thing by just making the questions easier. See, the audience didn't tune in to watch some amazing display of intellectual ability. They just wanted to watch the money. Imagine if they could watch you. You're a bright young kid with a bright future. Watch yourself out there. <laughs>